Hello, it is Sunday, May 17th. I cannot believe it's May 17th. Um, Memorial Day weekend is next weekend. Like that's the beginning of, you know, the unofficial start to summer. And it's really just baffling. Um, like, it's weird to say this, where does the time go? Given the fact that like in some ways time's moving so slowly because I feel like we're kind of standing still. But anyway, to get to the point, I figured today I would do a video about what I wish I was wearing versus what I'm actually wearing. Um, so, uh, well, I guess I'll show you what I'm actually wearing at the moment, which is actually more dressed up than I am most days, but a Zara blouse. These are Balmain camos, no shoes, a couple bracelets, and that's it. Um, so I will get right into the what I wish I was wearing. I did three different outfits, and then at the end I'll come back and we'll just have a chat. So on to the get-ups. Okay. So outfit number one in what I wish I was wearing, hold on, I think I was gonna carry this purse, is this super fun, I think it's a Zimmerman top. Um, but it's so pretty. Like this thing you could probably like tie in the back, you could do it like this, you could leave it open. Um, you know, you could do a number of things with that. But this is really pretty just blouse. I'm wearing it with just jeans. These are old Citizens of Humanity jeans. And then I can't recall if when I bought these, I showed these to you, but these are Christian Louboutin, these really pretty kind of like ballet pink booties with a bow. I think I did show these to you when I got them. Now the, this top and these shoes have never been worn because I bought them right before the coronavirus the lockdown and stuff. Um, and then I thought it would be really fun with this Chanel bag to give it a little pop of color. Um, so, okay, so this is outfit number one and what I wish I was wearing if I was going anywhere, fun. Okay. Outfit two of what I wish I was wearing is this Gucci blouse, which is also brand new. You see the tags. I haven't even taken them off yet because, again, I bought it before. I wasn't really allowed to go out. Um, with a Balmain blazer. Although I feel like maybe this would be really cute with, like, a lighter color blazer. I'll have to try it with, like, a white blazer. Um, these J brand jeans. For the moment, I have on the same Christian Louboutin shoes and my um, my Kelly bag. So that's outfit number two. And I think I might do one more, so hold on. Okay, and now for, I think, the final look in what I wish I was wearing is this is a Dolce & Gabbana blouse, sleeveless that I actually have had the chance to wear once because I wore it when I was in Florida in February. Although I wore it with white jeans and actually the green balm on blazer I just had on. But um, over my shoulders I have this Michael Kors leather jacket with, can you see the back? I haven't worn this yet, but look at the cute little um, ruffling. Same jeans I just had on, same shoes I had on for each of the three and this time I switched out to my fuchsia um, trendy Chanel bag. So I think this is the last of what I wish I was wearing instead of what I am. <laughs> um. Okay, so I hope you liked the get-ups. Um, I actually it was kind of fun doing that. Um, you know, nice to like put something on other than what my routine has been. So I guess we can start there. What has my routine been? My routine has been that I, um, on the weekdays, I get up in the morning, I go for a walk, usually for about an hour. I try to do that first thing. I figure it's a nice way to start the day. Clear my head, get some fresh air, 
get some exercise. Then I sit at my dining table, which I have, um, on the weekends, I disassemble my like workstation. I put my monitor off to the side and all the other like equipment. Um, so I don't have to think about it all weekend, but so I set up at my table, like, you know, usually by like eight and you know, then I'm working all day until, you know, probably around five. Um, a couple nights a week I have Pilates. I do Pilates on zoom with my Pilates instructor. So that's actually been really good. Um, and then a couple nights a week I've been doing like zoom happy hours. Um, and that's like my routine. I've been watching, um, oh my God, still watching Schitt's Creek. I, I really cannot describe how much I love that show. I'm going to be really bummed when it's over. Moira Rose, her outfits, her vocabulary, her accent, David, his like very soft, like whispery voice, but chock full of like sarcasm. I mean, I just, I just love it. It's, it's just a good, um, easy, get your mind off things kind of show. And I've been in the more serious show arena. I've been catching up on billions. I'm still not in the current season. I'm one season behind. I think I'm almost at the end of that previous season. Um, I will say one one positive about being like kind of stuck in my own apartment is that um, I personally find it easier to watch shows like Billions that require for me require like more attention when I have more time because I like to watch a few episodes in a row. Um, otherwise, I tend to forget like what happened <laughs> in the last episode. Um, my attention span is not always great, so I've been really enjoying Billions. Um, I think I told you guys about this book I read called Verity, which sucked me in like immediately. And then I finished another book called Three Hours in Paris. I think it's Three Hours in Paris. If not, I'll correct myself on the screen. Um, it was also very good. The premise is there's a woman, an American woman, like during the time like of Hitler and the war, um, who lived in maybe Ireland, married a guy, an Irish, I think an Irish guy, had a child and they were living on some island or somewhere, wherever they were living, it got bombed or something bad happened and her husband and the kid die. And she ends up, she basically ends up becoming a spy for the British government. And so um, it's the story of her time in Paris while she's on her particular mission and what happens. And it was, it was very good. I, um, I thought it was really good. So now I have to figure out what's next. I have a whole list, like a whole list of books I want to read. Um, in other very exciting news, I bought a car. I have not owned a car since 1996. Before I left like I was living in Florida before I moved to Boston and before I moved to Boston, I sold my car cause I'm like, I'm not going to need a car in Boston, which I didn't never did. Don't really need a car now, but decided I want one. Um, I had been thinking about getting a car anyway for the last like year, but this coronavirus epidemic is kind of what pushed me over the edge because I decided that, um, I don't envision myself in the near future getting on a plane or a train like to go anywhere. And at some point when things start reopening again, if I want to go somewhere, at least I can get in my car and go. Also, I can get in my car and go up to see my sister um, and not have to rely on public transportation and Uber or anything like that. So I bought a car last week and it's very exciting. Like I love it. I'm so excited. So. Um, Luckily, my building has a garage. Obviously, I have to pay extra for that, but um, so I have a spot right in my building, which is very convenient. So that's, you know, it was actually nice this week. Like, I had something exciting to say other than, like, I've done nothing exciting. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm curious to know um, 
what you guys are doing now. Leave me some leave me some information in the comments. I'm curious to know if people are venturing out a little more. Um, I am finding that a lot of people are finding their like pod of people that they're comfortable being with. So I have seen my brother and sister um, because I know they're not really, you know, out. like they're in, I'm in. Um, so anyway, I've seen my brother and sister. I'm not like expanding my group, you know, I'm not casting a wide net, but I feel like <sighs> at some point you need some human contact. Um, so anyway, that's where I am. And interestingly, yesterday I went out for a walk in the afternoon. I usually go in the morning, but I went like, actually it wasn't even the afternoon. It was evening, but it felt like afternoon. Cause now, you know, it's, we're to the point in the year where it's light still like at 6 PM. So I went out around six and I went for a walk. I generally go towards central park and walk like in or around the park. Um, usually on the east side. Occasionally I wander over to like the west side. Um, but yesterday I went further east over to East End Avenue and up towards, what is it called? Charles something Schutz Park, Schutz Park, I don't know. But there's a park, it's the park where Gracie Mansion is, where the mayor lives. It's along East End Avenue like in the upper 80s. And um, you know, New York City has closed a bunch of streets to traffic so, so that more people have more room to be out and about. And East End Avenue in that area is one of the places they did that. So I thought, oh, it'd be nice to like go check that out. So I walked over there. I had never been like really in that area or in that park. So that was a nice change of scenery. But I noticed a bunch of places are doing like restaurants, like especially if they have like you know, open air spots or, you know, where they can open doors right up at the front of the doors. They'll set up like a, an area, like kind of a bar area where you can order cocktails and people in small groups, you know, each group far enough apart, but people are having like cocktails and standing outside on the sidewalk. And I just thought it's just nice to see some life. You know, it's like, it's such a weird world now because everybody I feel like we're all walking around so furtively, like eyes cast down with our masks on. And, you know, we can still smile at each other and look each other in the eye. Um, anyway, I just thought it was nice to see that. And also when I was over in the par in that park, um, there were lots of people sitting out on the grass and stuff, again, in their own like group of like two or three people. And then, you know, far enough away from the next group, like nobody was, it wasn't overcrowded. But I thought it was very nice to see. So that made me feel, you know, I felt upbeat and happy yesterday. Um, so anyway, I guess that's my, I guess that's the end of my report. Um, I hope you liked this. I thought it would be a nice change of pace to do something like, and to put something on other than, you know, like I wear my Lululemon pants half of the days. Although I have been getting dressed more. Um, but sometimes like when I come back from my walk, I just stay in my athletic apparel for the day. So that's it. I hope everybody's doing well. I know this is a very difficult time. Um, for any, for anybody that's out there, you know, still working in the public cause you have to, thank you. Medical people, restaurant people, grocery store people, public transportation, like, you know, anybody like that, you know, I thank you because you're helping me and lots of other people like me. Um, and I hope everybody's doing okay. And I hope we're all on the upswing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.